time I get that opportunity, I feel like I learn a ton. Yeah? I never do better in it, but I, I get better myself. This is knee cancel. Gets that extra hit on the landing, and it kind of sends Pikachu flying. I'm not sure if that's really what he wanted, that low percent. He could have comboed a decent amount of percent. So we see here, go for another one. Another one of these traps on the platform. Back to the platform. Oh, wow. That was that pretty was good. Bad. And it killed, too. I can't believe that. Oh, we can see it again. Yeah, big that opener. Trap. Oh, good DI for Zonkid. Back down. Enough. Can't DI to that one. No. Can't escape with that. Corby taking solid control in yeah. the middle of the stage. Monkid isn't even really contesting it. It doesn't help that he can't seem to get a hit. That weak Nair still sends him so far because of his percent. Oh. He's in the sweet spot there. Corby yeah. actually oh. another person playing on the GameCube controller. So another GameCube player up on the, on the stage. Still at 0%. He's letting Corby control center stage so well. That's not what you want to do. You want, as Pikachu, you want to be in the center of the stage, controlling the platforms, pressuring them with your up air. And that's the, he just jabs the face. Don't know what he wanted to do, but I put a lot of money on the fact that it wasn't that. Coming alive a little bit. Uh, Blomkid finally has center stage, but he's just not picking up these KOs. He wants to pick up KOs. He's got to. He's got to hit Herbie. Uh, Horby. Yeah, we need that hard back air from Pikachu, or even a back throw. Anything. There's another recovery. There. A weak, weak back air, yeah. maybe. There it is. Okay, he shouldn't have enough jumps to make it back, although... Some t oh, no, he's coming back. you got to be ready. He's, he's he went straight back. up. He's almost lived back. it. That DI was pretty much perfect, honestly. He just said too high percent. Yeah. yeah. Nice ledge canceled up here. Really likes that play. Yeah, and he's good at it too. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. He wanted to seal it right there, but now uh -oh. Kid was center stage, but he's kind of relinquishing it. He totally had control of the stage on that platform. There's little that Horby could have done. Yeah. All he had to do, all Kid had to do, was give a a, a a nice nod to some sort of edge guard. The fear is in his heart right now. It's, it really is. I think he really needs to just figure out as much as he can do to change game two. Not that this is impossible by any means, but he's just being, he's not using his position to his advantage. He's just being outplayed in neutral over and over again. Yep. That's it. That's, uh, that's this. Mid-set coaching. We've got some workout friends. Kobe looks to the crowd and is like, do I have anyone from New York here? Does anyone play Kirby? Oh. <laughs> what did so, he say uh, to him? He said, Dark Horse said, Yo, Horby, you should pick Dark Red Kirby. Oh, yeah. Some effective coaching from Dark Horse. Uh oh, oh, oh. Oh, he said no. He looked at Light Kirby and Dark Kirby. He said, I just want to be Neutral Kirby. I don't want to pick sides right now. He's not a Sith or a Jedi. He's just Horby. <laughs> oh, it's a platform play again. No, see, I feel like down air was a safer bet. Blanca with an opening to take this first stock. He's afraid. I, he's playing just out that range. Like, you can oppress Kirby in that situation. 
Kirby cannot do anything when you're above him like that. You just gotta be in that correct space and just suffocate him. But he's just respecting Kirby so much at the ledge just from that those exchanges they had those first few stocks of game one. You gotta let go of that game one and just recompose. And take advantage of every situation that you find yourself in. Well, that's ideal. Sometimes you, when the adrenaline flows yeah. and you're coming down off that, there's nothing that's you can do. That's the problem, you're just, yeah. You're shaking, your mind is racing. I think we might be seeing that from there. For sure. There's the down air. That's the worst. Doesn't get oh, the reverse hit there. Bonkit <laughs> letting Horby push him to the corner. Yeah, just running away at every, every chance. Every exchange. I like the platform movement. Kirby can't really chase you up there. And if you're above Kirby, well, very far above Kirby, I should say. He can't do much against you. It's only when you're trying to land directly on top of him. It's true. That said, uh, Pikachu doesn't have a whole lot of tools for hitting directly on him. So. Yeah. He needs to find a way around that. He needs to find a, a good way to approach horizontal. Kirby's wall is just so good, too. It seems it is. you cannot get past him. If only Pikachu had some sort of projectile. That was good. A good projectile. Yeah. If he gets a grab here, this should KO. Well, not or quite, no, not, not on the ground. Yeah, sorry. Not quite. Weak that there. Might yeah, no jump from Pikachu. And the toes. Give him the old razzle dazzle. Yeah, eight's out the up tilt from Pikachu and Kirby. Fast enough with his pivot to dash, pivot, scoop in with the up tilt. As we see there, he's looking for it again. Such a good combo starter at low percent. Bonkid's gonna have to dig deep if he wants to re re retrieve this win. He missed the turnaround. It might not matter though. This could be a four stock. Could be. Oh man. <laughs> Bonkid just waving his tail around like a big stick. No, don't come yeah. near me, Horby. Don't. And in a way, that's what Pikachu does want to do. Just keep hitting that's him true. with the stick in the air until he's dead. But yeah. Orby playing so well just to outspace and just make... It seems like nothing is safe. There's that blue thunder wow. Oh, that was nice. That was yeah. really solid. You gotta find those. Good ledge cancel. Now let's hope that can give uh, Blonde Kid a little bit more... A little bit more confidence and courage. One problem in this matchup that you'll see in this situation, a yeah, situation similar to this, is Pikachu has that or has a pretty simple zero to death on Kirby off of a grab at zero. So that's when Pikachu's start to fish for it. And Kirby's play around that and just eat that for breakfast when they see the Pikachu's want to go for it. I'm not saying Blonde Kid was in that situation, but definitely you see that a lot.